Henry, we've had some uh, readers on Facebook and Twitter suggest that you're getting your 11.2 mile per gallon number off the vehicle ECM, and they're sort of casting some doubt on those figures. Uh, but you crunch your numbers separately from the ECM to verify them, isn't that right? Absolutely, and I don't blame them at all for not trusting ECM data because it's been known many times in the past to be off, depending how all the calibrations are set. I check mine every tank full against the paper and have found in 92,000 miles that the truck has on it now that it's within the same tenth as my dashboard readings are set, saying. So that 11.2 most likely at the tank would have been 11.1. Pretty close when you consider the fact that the fuel pump where you're buying the fuel, their goal is to give you as little as they can for whatever the meter is saying. And also, you have a trucks meter, which is trying to tell you either exactly what's right or slightly optimistic, being you're using two, two totally different measuring devices to be within a tenth. That's pretty close to me. But yeah, I don't blame anyone for wanting to see paper numbers as well. And where are we standing right now on uh, the fuel economy for so far today and the trip overall? Today, we have traveled 50.2 miles and used 4.8 gallons, and the trip overall since Tuscaloosa, we're hanging at 11.1 right now. Um, we did all of our in-town maneuvering at Shreveport that had pulled us down to an average of 11.1, uh, and also on this section, on average, we are gaining a little bit of altitude as we move along. So. I think it'll pick back up to 11.2 or better before we get to Dallas. Uh, it's a nice, calm day. We don't have any wind working against us or for us. So, just a nice, calm day to drive, and we're enjoying our trip to Dallas.